There was once a girl who wanted to be a horse. When she pretended she was a horse, she felt strong and beautiful. She could gallop on her hands and knees. She could even whinny. When she wasn't being a horse, she was drawing them, which was the next best thing. The only problem with being a horse was her schoolmates thought she was weird. They laughed and made fun of her. This made her feel small and clumsy. But one day, a girl that had made fun of her walked by when she was drawing horses in her notebook. She looked at the drawing and said, that's pretty. After that, the girl drew horses all the time. She decided if she couldn't be a horse, she would be an artist. One day, the girl went to visit a friend who had horses. The girl was very excited because she didn't get to be with real horses very often. She skipped happily down the hill to the barn. She pulled open the heavy sliding door. The inside smelled like sweet hay, warm dust, and the wonderful scent of horses. In the shadows, she could feel their presence. She could hear them shuffling and snorting. She approached the stall doors. One horse's name was Hala, and the other horse's name was Dava. The horses stood napping with their heads down. She wanted to draw them, but she didn't want to intrude. Then her friend offered to let the horses out to play in the arena. She ran back outside just in time to see the horses burst out of their stalls into the fenced arena. They explored the arena, snorting and pawing. Then they started to gallop and play. The horses were so beautiful, she scrambled to get her sketch pad ready, but they were moving too fast. Just as she started to get one ear on her paper, the horses would whiz by her or change direction. A scribbled page later, she grew so frustrated she threw down her sketch pad. She folded her arms and began to feel small and clumsy again. After a moment, she noticed that the playfulness of the horses contrasted with how she was feeling. Hala ran by with his tail up in the air. Dava snorted and tossed her head. The girl watched them and took a deep breath. She closed her eyes and imagined she was running with the horses. She felt the power of four legs and a tail that waved behind her like a flag. The wind whistled through her mane and she breathed deeply through a long horse nose. She opened her eyes, picked up her sketch pad and began to draw these feelings on the paper. The lines seemed to have a life of their own and like magic, the shapes of the horses started to appear. After a while, the horses slowed down and started eating. She looked down at her sketch pad and realized that something very special had happened. These drawings were different than any she had ever done before. The simple lines curved and overlapped, making the horses look like they were still moving. Excited, she ran to find the friend to show her the drawings. Her friend looked at them intently. After a long moment, she said thoughtfully, These are very good. Is this one Hala? she asked. Yes, the girl replied, but how can you tell? It's just a few lines. It feels like him, replied the friend, smiling. The friend smiled a secret smile and said, You might want to explore the barn while you're here. There are many secret places in there. The girl entered the now quiet barn. There was a shaft of light coming down the ladder from the hayloft above. She climbed the ladder and lay down on a warm bale of hay. The loft was quiet and still, as if the outside world could never intrude on this private place. She watched the dust motes dance like fairies in the slanting light. Before long, the warmth of the loft and the sweet smell of the hay lulled her to sleep. She began to dream. She dreamt she was in a purple cloud. Then the mist before her parted and a beautiful white winged horse appeared. The horse stopped in front of her, lifted its head, and spoke. I am the messenger, the horse said in a voice that was both soft and powerful. Somehow the girl wasn't surprised this horse could speak. Uh, hel hello, she stammered. I mean, it's an honor to meet you. The horse lowered its head and looked deeply into the girl's eyes. 
You have just taken the first step on a path be toward your dream of becoming an artist. Oh, thank you. I do want to be an artist, the girl said with enthusiasm. If horses could smile, then the messenger did. It said, you have the gift of seeing the secret beauty of horses. With your human hands, you can draw them so others will see them as you do. If you ever doubt yourself, just remember what it was like to be a horse, and you will be able to touch the strength and beauty within you. Believe in yourself and in the magical power of horses. Then the messenger nudged the girl softly with its nose and disappeared as quietly as it had come. When the girl awakened, the loft was darker. The sun had moved lower. She stretched and sat up. Suddenly, she remembered her dream. She smiled, because now she understood why she always drew horses. She knew she wanted to be an artist so she could show people how strong and beautiful horses were. She realized that she didn't need to be a horse because she carried the spirits of horses within her.